So yesterday we did the cosine law, or sorry, the sine law. Today we're going to do the cosine law. Um, now, we know Sokotoa, right angle triangles. Sine law, two loops. Well, what's different about this one? Okay, well let's look at this uh, question here, and we know it's not a right angle triangle, and all we know is sine law. Why won't sine law work? Well, this would be A, this would be B, and this would be C, right? So, uh, whoa. so no matter where I do two loops, if I do one here and I do one here, I have two unknowns. Okay, so we back that up. Uh, I can't do here either. I have two unknowns. So you can see where the two loops don't work. So we need to find a better way. So now we're going to learn the cosine law or the cos law. And for the cos law, you use a fork. That's my fork. So from the angle, you put a arrow to each side, and there'll only be one unknown. And that's how you can go find your unknown. Okay, so for that, we're going to use the cosine law. For the cosine law, you use the fork. Okay, and the fork will look like this. Here. Okay, two loops, sine law. If we can't use the two loops, we're going to be using the cosine law. Okay, so if we, let's go over to this page here. And let's see how to do this question. Ooh, I guess I should back the truck up a little bit here. Here is the cosine law. Now it looks a little daunting, but it's not that bad to work with. In fact, then I square root the both the same size, so then I get a equals a square root of b squared plus c squared minus two b c cos a. And then just put that all in my calculator in one shot. So let's use the formula, okay? So they give us all the dimensions. We can see that this is little a, this is little b, and this is little c. And out of those, do you see that we are looking for length bc, which is, in our case, is a. So then we go a equals the square root of b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So you get kind of used to the formulas because you see it's a, b, c. So whatever, if this was b, there'd be a and c here. And then an a and c here. And these two always match. So if it's cos a, it'll be a. Those two will be always opposite each other. Okay, so then it's a matter of a equals the square root of 6 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times 6 times 3 times cos 36 degrees. Okay? So, and you can use time signs here, of course, if you want. So let's just uh, try it. Clear this. So I open my square root, and it starts with a bracket, and I'm going to go 6 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times 6 times 3 times cos 36. Shut that. And I could shut it for the entire, and then I press enter, and I get 3.98, or to the nearest centimeter, 4 centimeters. Okay, maybe I'll just take a screenshot of this, in case you want to look at this more closely. So we would say A equals 4.0 centimeters. Okay, now what are we going to do if they have Q's, R's, and P's? Okay, well, same thing, right? They tell us QP is 1.7. QP, 1.7. QR, 3.1. And this is always funny, doesn't the 3.1 look shorter than the 
obviously not to scale. Okay, and PQR is 110 degrees. So that's Q, that's P, and that would be R. So it would be Q equals the square root. Now if we're using Q, then we're going to use P squared plus R squared minus 2 times P times R times cos 1 10, or sorry, cos Q. I won't put in any. And remember, these two must, ma must match. And obviously, I don't have Qs in here. If I did, I couldn't do the question, right? Okay, so Q equals the square root of 1.7 squared. Oops, I got these mixed up. I'm going to do my P. 3.1 squared plus R is 1.7 squared minus 2 times 3.1 times 1.7. times cos 110. Put that all in and you'll get 4. Okay, and we don't have to do another example of this one. Now we're going to go to the second part of this and that's to find an angle. Okay, so we're going to, now how do you find angles? So here is the form we're going to use. And do you see how there's cos A here and then it goes B, C. So these two will never be minus A squared. So it's like these opposites again over two B, C. So you see the B and the C there. Right, so if I was to calculate this with cos B, cos B would be, a squared plus C squared, you see it's got to be the other ones than this, minus, and we're going to do B squared, because, remember I told you these should always be the same, and that's over 2AC. Okay, so let's, uh, what do we got here? We don't need to do both of these. Um, let's do this one here. This is two ship sail. Um, this one wants angle P. Okay, so do you see this is a perfect one for the cosine law or the cos law? So cos P would equal, we have P. R and Q here, right? So it's P, so it's going to be the 2 on the side of it, 7 squared plus 8 squared, minus 13 squared, all over 2 times 7 times 8. Okay, so let's put this one in our calculator together. So because I'm finding an angle, you go second cos. And let's open for the top. 7 squared plus 8 squared minus 13 squared. Close that bracket, divided by, open the bracket, 2 times 7 times 8. And then you can shut the bracket for everything. So really important here, we're putting all of this in brackets and all of that in brackets. And it's even more important is getting the right answer, which is 120 degrees. I'm going to take a screenshot of this one. Um, okay, so that's showing that angle P equals 120 degrees. Okay, so now you want to try it on your own. We're doing 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, and 9. 